Okay, let's jump into a few examples here on midpoint formula. Um, use your foldable for your formulas. Uh, you might want to write it over here to the side um, if you want, or like I said in the other video, really think about what the formula is. It's simply an average. Um, we really just have one new vocabulary term, segment bisector. A segment bisector is a segment ray or line that intersects a segment at its midpoint. So the important thing here is the word bisect. So think about the word intersect. To intersect something is to just cross it, like an uh, intersection on a road. There are two roads that cross each other. Bisect, on the other hand, is an intersection, but exactly in the middle. So to bisect something means to intersect something at the middle, which chops it into two equal parts. Okay, so we've got, if you have, think about having the middle, you have the same distance on either side. So let's draw a picture of this. So sketch a little segment. Okay. Now I'm going to have a second item come through and bisect this. That second item can be any of these things. It can be another segment, it could be a ray, it could be a line. Um, I'm gonna use a line. So it's gonna intersect this segment right in the middle. So I'm gonna have my line come through here about right there. And there is my intersection point. But to show that's exactly in the middle, because that is the midpoint, I know that the distance to this endpoint is gonna be the same as the distance to this endpoint. So we're gonna use those tick marks that we talked about earlier. So if you put markings like that, it doesn't tell me how long these segments are, but it does tell me they're the same length. All right, and that's gonna be important and that's gonna be helpful as we solve through problems. Okay, a couple examples here. So this says find RS, but remember it's more than just RS. There's no segment bar above it. So without that segment bar, it says find the length of RS. So that means I wanna figure out how long RS is. So what I wanna notice here, I see tick marks. Okay, tick marks mean that those two lengths are equal. So I'm going to jot down 21.7 over here. So if I need the whole length, I can apply that segment addition postulate. I can add this piece plus this piece, and then I will get the total. So I can do 21.7 plus another 21.7, and then that will give me the total length. So... I'm gonna say that RS equals, what do we got? That is 43.4, okay? So not a big amount of work, but just more an idea and understanding symbols. Okay, I want you to do number two. Okay, uh, four and a half is our answer here. Uh, 4.5 would be fine too. Uh, I just left it as a half because of the fractions, so. All right, so these items, this is a segment bisector. Ray CD is a segment bisector, okay? All right, let's keep going. Um, number, or number three says D is the midpoint of segment EF. ED is four X plus six. DF is seven X minus nine. Find the length of ED, DF, and EF. All right, um, I need a picture. So draw segment EF. Um, and then I need the midpoint. So I'm going to put D where it looks approximately the middle. But to remind myself that that's the midpoint, I'm gonna add these tick marks. Okay, let's label now. ED is 4X plus 6, 
So ED, 4X plus 6. DF is 7X minus 9. And that's all I have. Okay, so I need to first find X before I find these lengths. So I don't know the total, so I can't add these together and set them equal to the total, but I do know that because D is the midpoint, these two sides are equivalent. So I am able to write an equation and set those equal to each other. And that will allow me to get X and then find my lengths. Okay, so go ahead and solve through this one. Okay, I have x equals 5, so we need to find the length of ED, the length of DF, and the length of EF. All right, so I'm going to use my calculator here. Let's go ahead and substitute in. So I'm going to take my 5, so ED is 4x plus 6, so I can do 4 times 5 plus 6, and I get 26. Now, I better get 26 for df or something's wrong with my variable. So don't assume it's 26. Go ahead and plug that in and double check. So 7 times 5 minus 9. Okay, 26. And then now I need the whole thing. Well, I can just simply add those two together. So the whole thing is 52. Okay. Okay. All right, why don't you try number four? I want you to pause it, try to mark on your picture, and see if you can get some things set up. Okay, um, sentence number one, LH bisects GK at point M. So LH is bisecting GK. It's cutting GK in half. Therefore, I added the midpoint. Um, I labeled GM to be 2X minus 6, and the whole length of GK is 26. Okay, there's several ways to do this. I could... Take 2x minus 6 here. If this side is equal, it's also 2x plus 6. I think I may have said minus. It's also 2x plus 6. And then I can use segment addition postulate to add these together and equal 24. So I could do this. I could say that 2x plus 6 plus the other side, which is equivalent, 2x plus 6, equals 24. Okay? And I could do that. I could start with 24 and say, well, if I know the whole thing's 24 and each of these is equal, I could cut 24 in half, which means both sides are 12. Now I could just focus on this segment and I could directly set 2x plus 6 equal to 12. Either way will get you what you need. So I'm just going to pick this one up and solve it because um, it's a little shorter. So we would take away 6 from both sides. Divide by 2, so I just need to find x, so I got x equals 3. All right, so make sure you're starting to get in the habit of labeling with tick marks, because that's going to be crucial. All right, let's move on. Okay, so I think what I want to do here... I'm going to skip these last two examples. I will have a filled in copy of the notes online, but uh, we'll come back to these if we need to. So don't worry about seven and eight right now. Um, last two examples, I would like you to find the coordinates of the midpoint of the segment with the given segment with the given endpoints. So I want you to pause your video and I would like you to work through five and six and then come back when you have an answer.
Okay, you are simply running through midpoint formula. So you are adding the x's dividing by 2, adding the y's dividing by 2. So I'm going to just plug in. So on that first one, I get 1 half. If you wrote 0 0.5, that's okay. And then 5 halves, you could have also written 2.5. Okay, I'm going to say here, or 0 0.5. 2.5. That would be just fine. Uh, number six looks like we've got two, three plus six divided by two. We end up with a negative four and nine halves, which is 4.5. So that would be fine too. Okay, like I said, we'll skip seven and eight. So as always, um, please ask questions if you need to.